Hello everyone. I just wanted to jump on here today and hope everyone's having a great day. Fall is one of my favorite seasons. I just love the color of the leaves and all the change and new. Um, you know, I just wanted to focus on uh, vulnerability today. That is on my heart. And, you know, I've learned that the more vulnerable that I've allowed myself to be, the more control of myself that I really am. And a lot of people, you know, they think that you can only show your strong side and um, confident side and you know that's the face that you have to show to the world that's the mask that many of us that have been victims of trauma and abuse um, that's the mask that we're told that we have to wear um, but it's just so empowering when you finally realize that you can take that mask off and peel the layers back and truly rebuild and create who you are and who you want to be. That is the most amazing thing because that allows you to take back your life. That allows you to not let that abuser keep you in a place at a standstill where you are just thinking that yourself is what you've been through and we are so much more and that is why you know God has been on my heart and I know I know that I am enough and you are enough I mean, like, so many of us feel like we have to be in control all the time. We have to be calm, cool, and collective. And, you know, this is 2017. Almost 2018. Times have changed. It's time to use our voice to take back the power that our abusers and the stigma in society is just put on us. It is okay. And if I have to make a video every day to try to make a difference in this world, then I will stand on it and do that. That is why I open my practice to help people to give back, to guide them into the fact that you can genuinely love yourself and accept yourself and everybody else can have their beliefs but it's time to start living not just existing and let me tell you what it's a good feeling it's a very good feeling we are strong fierce independent women. We are naturally leaders. Allowing ourselves to be vulnerable, um, it'll help us build relationships. And when I say build relationships, the biggest one it helped me build was the one with myself. Because we can often be our own worst critics. And when you go through trauma and you go through turmoil, you carry that shame and guilt it's easy to think that you're not enough I'm sitting out here in a parking lot by my house and I'm just making this video and before I'd be like oh. years ago I'd be worried about who was hearing what I had to say I'm Andrea Every little thing that has happened to me has made me, me. I kind of also wanted to touch on um, 
It's okay to show you the frightened side, the angry, the hurt, the one that doubts. Expressing these things, it makes us, you know, vulnerable and less perfect. And I don't know if you've always known that person that was like the overachiever, that they had to have, you know, things a certain way, or maybe they had a parent, um, a spouse, you know, that this is the way it had to be. Well, for me, perfection just means practice because I don't want to be perfect. I will never be perfect. The man upstairs is perfect and he died for my sins. So therefore, I will be vulnerable. I don't want to be perfect. <laughs> I hope whatever you're doing today, that you love yourself and you know that you're enough. Your past doesn't define you. Allow yourself to be vulnerable today. Focus on owning your power. Those are strong words. Um, take care of yourself. Don't let fears and trauma and abuse um, dictate who you are. The smile on your face, the love in your heart that you have to give. Wake with a grateful heart. Until next time, thank you so much for watching my channel. Feel free to subscribe, leave me some comments or messages below, and let's make the world a better place.